Welcome to the Smart Science Lab about how to measure for density. Now, at the beginning of each lab, you're going to see on the Explore page a description of the lab and a guideline about how to measure. In this case, we're going to try to connect, click on the meniscus of the water, which is the low center of the curved top of the water in each image. See in this picture how you've got kind of a water surface level in a graduated cylinder close up? and the red arrow is pointing right to that lower part of the liquid level in the middle of the cylinder. So let's see how that works in practice. First, consider the central question, how are density and mass related for any item? You're going to have to either pick or write a hypothesis. I'm just going to click on one randomly to show you how this works. There you can see once I've picked a written hypothesis, it goes in the box and becomes my hypothesis. Now, how do you give evidence to try to support this hypothesis? Well, we've got about six different objects we can try to measure the density for. And this particular type of density measurement is pretty straightforward. We're going to know the mass of the object. For example, I picked glass marble, 5.15 grams. And we're going to measure the volume of each of those pieces. So once we've put the marble on the scale and weighed it, gotten its mass, we then pick that marble up and drop it into the water to see how much water it displaces. This type of measurement is called water displacement measure of density for that very reason. Each time you add a marble, the water goes up. So let's see how the measurement works. It says, click on the meniscus of the water, the curved upper surface, but you wanna to try to click right near the bottom of that surface. So notice where I'm clicking, right on the bottom of that surface. Notice that each time I do this, there's a mass value and a volume value, and those are going into my data table and on my graph. Now, if you feel like you're doing a good job, just keep on going. If you don't like the measurements you're making, you can always press this reset button and do them again. Once you've gotten to the end of a particular video, in this case, the glass marble video, I'm being prompted to save it using the save button, and that's gonna put it right there in my list. You can use the All button to superimpose all your graphs and compare them once you've made more than one. Hopefully this teaches you more about how mass, volume, and density are related in this Smart Science video about measuring for the Density Lab.